Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be trying out the Ammo NYC Wheel Regimen Kit. So, Wheel Regimen Kit is about well, $52 plus shipping. Uh, it comes with plum wheel cleaner, brute wheel soap, and some mud tire dressing. It's also a trim dressing, but mainly just use it on my tires. So, whole kit comes with these three things. What you're going to want to do is have your bucket. I have a Lake Country mitt, uh, easy detail brush, uh, detail buddy, and I think it's Tough Shine tire brush. So I'm going to be using that. What you got to do is put a little bit of the wheel soap in the bucket. It says three squirts, two, three. So then you got to fill the bucket up three quarters full of water. Um, the mud will keep aside. And then for the plum, what you're going to want to do is make sure you rinse the tire first before you spray it on. So I get set up outside, fill this bucket up, and then we'll try it out on the tire. So I'm just going to spray some of the plum on, uh, let's see, let it sit 30, 20 to 30 seconds and then agitate it. So my arms are coated with Gion Moe's, so it shouldn't be too bad, so I'm going to let it sit. As you can see, the bucket foamed up quite well, uh, don't need a ton for rims because it's not like as critical but give it a few seconds I did use some Adams wheel cleaner on it not too long ago but only one issue I'm seeing with this kit so far regimen is there's no rubber cleaner so while that's soaking use my tough shine brush and some rubber cleaner Larry designs all the chemicals himself, so he puts a lot of work into it. You're going to pay for ammo, but it's one of those things, it's kind of like buying craft beer. You're supporting a small company, supporting something like that. And most time it works better. Ammo, pretty much everything he does is the best out there from what I've heard. These are the only three products I've tried from him. But, so, really. If they had a tire and rubber cleaner, then this kit would be complete. But there's really not much brake dust on my rims. So there's really not turning purple like it normally would, but spray this off. I'm just sitting on the brush, there's no dirt there. So now I'm just going to agitate it. It is turning purple and stuff like that on the rotors where there's some brake dust. So, if your rims are worse, it should peel through it. It's not the strongest stuff in the market, but from what I've read, but there's really no way I can test it without having something like BMW brake pads that are known to be bad. Oh shit. So with that, try to spray that off before I put it in there after doing the wheel wells. All links in the description of all this stuff. Larry only sells through his website, so it's kind of nice that he gets all the profits instead of giving a middleman the stuff. So, to get this. Since my wheels are coated, they clean off really, really easy. You can just tell the dirt comes off really well.
bubbles are kind of going away or the suds a little bit but I'll spray it up a little bit more before I do the rest of my wheels so so far I've used this kit a little couple times it's awesome it's not the soap is a little bit stronger than a regular soap but not too strong um, Larry dry designs his stuff to work nice but it's not going to be the strongest stuff out there it's not going to be weak either but So the rims are still beating really well from from the Gion. Seems like it works quite well. Come back in a little bit once it's dried, and we'll put some of the ammo mud on. Oh, mud is definitely well color mud. It's supposed to be thick. I think it's not supposed to sling. So, it goes on pretty easy. Overall, it seems slightly less shiny than the Atoms. So, I'm going to come back in a few minutes, give it like half hour or so. So, they've been drying for about half hour now. Um, did take off my electrical tape here. You can see untreated versus treated. They both look similar. If I did have to say, I'd say the ammo mud is just a tiny bit less sheen or a little bit less shiny, so I'm gonna to try to take the camera off and compare and contrast a little bit. So they look very close to the same. Obviously, since it's the winter and stuff like that, I'm not gonna be able to test how long which one lasts and stuff like that, but. Now that it's not winter, I can actually check how long it lasts, so. I am in the process of filming a video for testing out the longest lasting tire dressing. This is non-treated. This is ammo mud. So let's try to get you a good view there. As you can tell, this is after six days and roughly 450 miles. Mud is holding up quite well. So if you want to know exactly how long it lasts and how it compares to other dressings in durability, I'll put that link at the end of the video and in the description in a few days, might be another week or so, depends how long they last. But overall, I'm going to have to say that the ammo regimen is quite well, I mean, bottles are well designed. It works, it does exactly what it's advertised to do. Um, it doesn't blow you out of the water like some of the hydrate and other things like that that I want to try in the future. but. You're supporting a small company. Um, Larry's done a lot for the detailing industry, so it's well worth it. Only thing that could make that kit better is a uh, tire and rubber cleaner. So maybe something to compete with Adams and maybe Shine Supply Wise Guys. So this helped you out at all. I'll put the link in the description for Larry's site so you can pick up some of the stuff from him. But appreciate it for watching this all the way through. If you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and have a great day.